Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my Disney News Updates. Where every Tuesday I do a Disney News Update and talk about news that was released from any part of the Disney company from that past week. So let's get going. First up is new baby giraffes have made their debut in the savannah at Disney's Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World. Their names are Mara and Milo or Milo depending on how you want to pronounce it and Lincoln. They are three, four, and five month old giraffe, baby giraffes. And they debuted on the uh, Savannah for the very first time. And you can see them if you ride the Kilimanjaro Safari attraction. They look very, very cute. And yeah, circle of life. Okay, and now this week, really not much happened in the news for Disney. But um, something, there was like a special remembrance anniversary thing um, that Disney Parks blog has on their website. This past week, uh, we are celebrating the Chicken of the Sea uh, anniversary, kind of, but not really because it's not really here anymore. Chicken of the Sea was a Peter Pan themed restaurant. It was an actual pirate ship that uh, sat in the middle of Fantasyland. It opened on August 29th, 1955, the same year Disneyland Park opened. It basically stood right where Dumbo the Flying Elephant is now. In 1969, the location changed its name to Captain Hook's Galley. Um, and in 1982, it was removed from Fantasyland during the creation of the new Fantasyland. If you still want to see kind of what Chicken of the Sea used to be, you can actually go to Disneyland Paris where they have the Pirate Galleon, which is basically a recreation of what was once at Disneyland. Some say that the uh, watery rock work adjacent to the Dumbo the Flying Elephant's queue and um, Storbuck Land Canal boats is actually part of the uh, original Skull Rock Cove. Um, Cause right next to Chicken of the Sea Pirate Ship, there was sat in like a little lagoon or a cove, and then they had rock work for School Rock, which you see in Peter Pan the movie. All of that was removed in 1982 when Disneyland went from like changed Fantasyland into the new Fantasyland, which is what it looks like today, basically. And that's really all the news I have for this week. I know it's sh short and sweet, um, but maybe you learned some historical fact. Maybe. Stay tuned for next week for um, another Disney News update. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, and happy, and I'll see you later.